Good afternoon. My name is Regan Wilson, the Turlock City Manager. I'm here today to talk about the City Council approved transitional housing project for our homeless in the community. One of the things that's important for people to understand is that homelessness is a national issue, not just a city of Turlock issue. In the state of California, every city and county is struggling with their homeless population. Truelock suffers those struggles along with the others. Well, I think what the council's done in their decision was provide an opportunity for us to deal with the homeless situation is better than we have been. And we're gonna hook up with the Stanislaus County and its services, which include social services, drug and alcohol addiction counseling, job training, and housing assistance, plus the city's own housing department will help people move from transitional housing which can be six to nine months, some cases longer, into more permanent relationships in the housing when they have uh, got a job and the ability to pay for their own place. Well, the one I've heard most frequently is we build a really nice facility, then others are gonna come. And so I think the community is worried about we become a magnet for other homeless people. Now, and I talked to the people in Merced, which operate a similar kind of facility, which has been in operation for more than a year. And uh, the contract for this project, who has four others of state and nationwide, said that has not been the case in those places. So it's not that we've become a magnet. Secondly, you just can't show up and get a transitional housing unit for the next six to nine months and do nothing. So we'll have people enter into contracts for this. It says they gotta follow the house rules. They got to do the education they need, whether it's drug and alcohol counseling, whether it's mental health counseling, whether it's job training, or all the above in many cases. Uh, that's part of the rules that they have to be able to comply with, or they won't be available to use this. Uh, there'll be an on site uh, manager for the facility, which will be provided by the contractor. There'll be 24 hour a day, seven day a week security services. So those are the basic foundations of keeping this a, a good run orderly facility. Where the funds are coming from is from a state program under the state housing and department. They're called home key funds and they're specifically set aside for providing residences and facilities for the homeless. That uh, home key funding is a competitive process we're in the process of filling out our application. I don't know if any application has not been approved by the state. Uh, what they do typically is reduce our budget requirements. In talking to our contractor, he thinks that he can be able to build it if they make reduction in the project. There ain't no, there'll be no taxes associated with this, and there'll be no impact on the city of Turlock's general fund, which we use to support a whole bunch of other stuff. It'll be paid for out of home key funds. Plus, some of the inhabitants will have VA benefits, will be on state disability, or some other kind of social services program that gives them payments. So they'll be charged a rent to the extent of their, their, in, their own income supports that rent charge. The expected direct result is there's gonna be far fewer homeless people on the streets of the city of Turlock. They're not gonna be camping in doorways, They'll be using day centers instead of hanging out in front of businesses. They'll uh, have an opportunity to advance their lives. And through the day centers, we'll provide access to no social services, uh, just like we would at the transitional facility. So we're going to look to the county to provide those things that they're already obligated by law to provide. And we're going to focus on our own city, homeless population. We're doing this now because that's when the funding is available. If we don't do this, what the state will do is give the funding to somebody else, which means we would miss an opportunity to start addressing our homeless population. We've developed a link to city information around this problem. So if you want more information, want to see pictures and that kind of stuff, then please go to the link, which we will publish as part of this.